so let's get the latest uh, on the ground. I'm joined now by defence analyst Dr Alex Wormsley. Uh, Alex, great to see you again. Um, a lot of focus over the last 24 hours on this announcement from Russia that they're supposedly withdrawing from the Kiev area. Do we believe that that's genuinely happening? As Ali Bunkle just intimated, it's very hard to tell whether this is a genuine uh, retrenchment ahead of potential ceasefire talks or whether this is just a repositioning or a resupplying, um, replacing exhausted troops with fresh ones. And so on that rationale behind it, if it is taking place, suggesting uh, perhaps it's, it's to aid the tone around peace talks, do we believe that or were they forced to do this? Well, it's clear that the Russian um, attack on Ukraine has not gone the way they anticipated. It's taken much longer to achieve any of their strategic objectives. So I, th I think we have to take this with a grain of salt at the time. Um, so if they're removing the focus from Kiev, uh, likely to increase it uh, on the east of Ukraine, which we're going to uh, dive into here, and the uh, Donbass region there marked by the black uh, outer line, uh, what are the key objectives uh, of the Russians here in, in that region now? Well, the whole pretext for launching this invasion some five weeks ago now was to liberate the Donbass region from what Putin and his allies said was genocide and um, mistreatment of the ethnic Russian population. You can see from the map that they've only actually been able to take about um, two-thirds of the Donbass region, but they want to concentrate their, their capabilities there to say they can show that they have achieved an objective. And if they really now do focus fully on this region, is that almost impossible for the Ukrainians to repel, or might they have as much success as, as they have uh, back in Kiev? Well, I do think the Ukrainian forces have been woefully underestimated by the Russians, and because um, the, the Luhansk and Donetsk regions had been um, in the hands of Russian separatists for the last few years, the Ukrainians have special forces there. They have their crack elite forces there ready to do their best. Alex, thanks so much uh, for that for now. That's the latest.